I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure on the Green River, one of America's greatest, no it is, America's best trout fishing stream. Whoa, look at this guy. Another typical Green River trout. This one, a gorgeous rainbow cutthroat hybrid. If it isn't the best, it's likely the busiest, with more fish per mile in the tailwater below Flaming Gorge Dam than any other river maybe anywhere. There's nowhere else like this river where there's this many fish. They estimate currently there's about 15,000 fish per mile which dwarfs everywhere else. Flaming Gorge Resort guide Ryan Kelly is rowing Uinta County Commissioner Mark Raymond and me through the spectacular seven mile long A stretch of the green between the dam and Little Hole. And the fishing more than lives up to the hype. Oh, you got two on there. Oh, just look at that. You have two on. A double. You got two on the same time. Oh, the one just came off. How about that? Part of what makes the green so uh, amazing is its consistency. You can come out here and catch fish all the time. And the fish are big, healthy, great fighting, despite the fishing pressure this stretch sees. You know, this river does get a lot of pressure. It is holding up quite well. We had a few tough years during the drought. Um, we've had better water conditions, and it's amazing how the fish have made a really nice comeback the last two years. It can be a little more difficult if you wait fish in the more popular spots. If you're willing to walk and get away from those popular spots, you'll find that the fish are not quite so picky. Reese has got a big one on. He's got a monster there. Boy, I'll tell you, he's a he's a little fighter. He's a fighter. Fighting hard. He'll be all right. He'll wear out here in a second. I'm going to keep moving. He'll wear out or I'll wear out. Boy, that's the <laughs> one thing about these fish in this river he's is even the small ones give you a really nice fight. Look at this guy. With no hatches apparent, we're nymphing or fishing for trout feeding below the surface. We use a thingamabobber, a sensitive balloon that betrays a biting trout. We're just gonna dead drift it under a thingamabobber and mostly they'll eat the scud, but occasionally you'll get one to get the woolly bugger. The woolly bugger mostly just piques their curiosity, gets them to come check it out. Yeah. And then they eat the scud as they're coming by. The green is loaded with food trout love, including jillions of tiny shrimp, aquatic insects, sculpin, and small fish. Getting the right imitation size and color fly is Ryan's job, and he's right on today. The fish can't stay off the small scud drifting just below the surface. We're nymphing mostly because it's been cool. We had a cold front come through. Uh, the hoppers and other terrestrials aren't real active yet this morning. We put ashore for lunch and a bathroom break. A full day guided fishing trip costs $425 for two people and includes lunch. And I'm going to eat. Looks like we've got a turkey sandwich with some uh, chips and an apple. I'm ready to get after it after all that hard fishing this morning. You could get spoiled doing this. This is wonderful. Just 11 miles of the most beautiful river you've ever seen. If you haven't had an opportunity to come up here and float this river, you need to do it. Whether it's for recreation or fishing or both of the above, you can get into water fights, you can swim, you can fish. It's an incredible experience. You need to do this. Flaming Gorge Resort near the dam offers lodging, a cafe, gas station, guide service, boat rental, and a complete fly shop with everything a Green River or Flaming Gorge angler will need. We can put pants on you, we can put a shirt on you, we can put a jacket on you, rain suit and send you down to the river and you can go fishing and enjoy your outdoor experience here very easily. As the day warms, we switch to big dry flies and the action gets even better. The water is so clear below the dam, it's like looking into a natural aquarium. Reese is on a roll today. He's yeah, hooked another good. one. We're doing good. Ryan's the man. Oh, that's no other guy. Another big, healthy brown trout. They're definitely looking healthier than they have the last few years during the drought years. We've got you know good water flow this year. We're looking good. Oh, good. good. Fish are great. The uh, shock data supports that. Strict regulations help maintain the quality fishing here. Artificial flies and lures only, no bait. And although few fly fishermen oh, keep any, the limit is three trout, two under 15 inches and one over 22. All fish between 15 and 22 inches must be released immediately. The green has become an economic boon to northeastern Utah. It's especially important for Uinta County as well for the tourism and the recreation that it brings to our area. It's an opportunity for folks to come out here and get on the river and experience the outdoors to have a chance to 
really find out what it's like to uh, fish these waters and, and to experience this, uh, this type of activity in the outdoors. Yep. I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure, on the Green River.